Kahalau Yahawa Ba'ashim Yahushai Ba'ashim Rakat Kadash. Those are the names of the Heavenly Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in the Paleo Hebrew. We give double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. And salutation and blessings to the hopeful elect Akiyam. I want to get into how nothing could be done to thwart the mission of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the ministry of his elect, all right? Which the ministry of the elect can be found with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, all right? Those are the men, and that's the current group, if you will, just to have a name on it, but it extends that originated this entire Israelite thing, all right? The the whole camp structure, if you will. It it stemmed out of one West, but the elders and apostles are the originators that are still going from that movement, all right? They started this thing, so to speak. The whole structure of the camps and, um, you know, the... Um, a lot of the different ways of which this thing is conducted came from the elders and apostles, all right? And in due time, they will receive their um, their their uh, credit for that, all right? Because it talks about now, right now in this current time that we'd be reviled, but this thing is going to come to pass. Not despite the feeble attempts of the people to to attempt to hinder and impede the gospel of Yahweh Bashim Shai, it's going to come to pass. It's going. It's going. It's coming to fruition. All right. And ultimately, the elect as a whole are going to um, be granted salvation through this. Okay. You got the so-called Christian Church. They're coming up hard against the elders and apostles and the the, um, the, the Israelite, the entire Israelite um, ministry, you see? You got the Geno Jennings, you got fucking um, something white, right? Uh, uh, Pastor White or some shit, Okay. You got um, Vocab Malone, all these other fucking Christian churches that it's a low key to speak about the the Israelites, all right? That they don't even go into the scriptures anymore, into the different accounts and you know the passages they read and do all that, right? The fucking uh, the hour long praise and worship session and then the the couple verses they. They they jump straight to um, a uh, uh, a script, all right, a template that they go over to combat the the Israelites, man, to try to 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 thwart this gospel. For example, the fact that this thing is not extended into everyone. All right, it's only to the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel, to their descendants, okay? Then, then you have the so-called um, uh, the media, right? The media is putting a block as a, um, a media block on Great Millstone. You had fucking uh, CNN, Fox News, and these other... Um, uh, uh, journalism engines all right different journalism uh engines that did pieces on the on the israelites but like for example isbpk iuic um uh hoi all right and um but but never to great millstone all right <laughs> that's for the purposes, the purpose that they don't go through Great Millstone because they know they even say it on their um, dossier, on their fucking little profiles, that 
GMS is on the extreme end of the Israelite spectrum. Okay? And that's code word for they're, um, they're the most uh, uh, loyal. All right? They're the most obedient to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? They're um, the most accurate and along the lines of the, the, uh, the men of, of Acts. The book of the men in the book of Acts, that that ministry, all right, and then uh, these other Israelite camps, they try to thwart and impede the ministry of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai as disseminated by a uh, great millstone, all right. Obviously, through the orchestration, through the um, through the control and the influence of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. All right. But this is in Acts 5 and 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if, for if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. Okay. So if this was just something that the elders and apostles just pulled out of their backside and ran with it this thing would have been overthrown it would have been uh, fucking destroyed it would have been dismantled already alright but it's going stronger than ever because this is backed by Yahweh Shai. alright that's the um, the power source for this thing that's who um, is uh, endorsing this ministry, so it can't be it can't be fucked with. See, that's why it says refrain from these men. All right, like they said, keep the um, the bishop's name out your mouth. Yeah, it behoove you to keep the apostles and elders and the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai's name, at um, and and ministry this thing of ours out of your fucking mouth, man. All right. It says, but if it be of the most high, ye cannot overthrow it. Least happily ye be found even to fight against the most high. All right. So it's likened unto you fighting um, a fucking, a guaranteed, uh, um, a guaranteed route. All right, a flawless victory by the hand of Yahweh Bashem Shai. Okay, and that's what it is for the elect, for this thing of ours. That's why the um, the brother was talking about the brother Moatzak. Win, 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 win. All right, this is a guaranteed dub. All right, victory for the elect, and it's already been established. It's already been declared before even the beginning was was um was established. Okay. This, this is in Second Edger 6 and 28. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which hath been so long without fruit shall be declared. All right. So this thing is going to be shouted from the fucking rooftops. The proverbial. Uh, um, the proverbial rooftops. Right? All right. And on the literal highways and hedges. This truth is gonna, is being declared, and it, the momentum and uh, uh, fucking um, and power and momentum that this thing has gained is is uh, un immovable. All right, unstoppable. It's flourishing. All right, this thing is going to flourish. Get rid of it. thing is thriving, man. Let's get it both. Grow or develop in a healthy or vigorous way, especially as a result of a particularly favorable environment. Okay. That favorable environment is the spirit, the Rakah Kadash. All right. The scriptures. That's an actual... Um, 
we're in an actual other realm when we consume these scriptures, man. That's the favorable environment, okay? And of course, uh, we're being grown and developed. This thing. Uh, that's a lock. We got to get out of these fucking bodies. We will. Flourish means to blossom and grow. All right. To bloom, to be prosperous, to thrive. Okay. So we're going to continue to flourish. All right. This thing that was scoffed as fucking uh, being faith based. All right. Well, faith is flourishing through his men. Scriptures talk about shall the Most High find faith on the earth when he returneth? And he's going to find it with the elect. All right. The men, the exclusive group that he's fucking with in this time. This is in 2 Corinthians 13 and 8. For we can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. Okay. And that goes for everyone on this fucking planet. There's nothing you could do to impede or hinder or counter the ministry and mission of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? There's nothing you can do. Absolutely. But then, on the flip side, you're, you're actually helping to, to, um, to further this. You're, you're helping to spread it. All right. For example, the apostles and elders go in weekly about how the um, bitch ass whole cap is actually ga um, gaining, uh, facilitating the Israelite movement to gain exposure the more he goes into it. Huh? All right. With, with his attempt and his uh, purpose, his intentions. Is to, to dismantle this thing, all right? To disband the entire Israelite movement. And if it was up to him, he'd, he'd put us to death, all right? He'd have us killed. But the scriptures say that you're not going to be able to do that, all right? You're not going to be able to, to, to fucking do what you want with his men in this time, all right? The elect is going to be saved, with an everlasting salvation, man. All right. Like it says, list happily, you be found to be fight against the Most High. All right. I'm finishing off in Second Samuel three and one. Now there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David, but David waxed stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul waxed weaker and weaker. All right, so if you know anything about the scriptures and about the elect, the remnant, they're synonymous with the tabernacle of David, all right? And right here, it just tells you that the, the house of David is waxing stronger and stronger. That isn't, that wasn't a, a, a one-time thing, all right? That's eternal. When you look at the, the scepter not departing from from Judah, okay, and David being um, a Ju Judite monarch, one of the greatest Judite monarchs of, uh, of our, in our Israelite history, okay, the scepter shall not depart from Judah, the entire tabernacle of David is likened unto uh, kings and priests, all right? If those men through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai are being built up, are are um, are being bolstered. Okay. And these other uh, motherfuckers who are trying to thwart the gospel of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai are are going to be put to death. They're going to be made an example of in this time to come. All right.
So with that, all honor, praise, and glory to Abba Shemiel Shai, Abba Shemakach Hadash.